file and click on New. Maximise your canvas. If you can't see your centre point in the middle of your screen, select View and Show All. If you ever get lost in visual building, always select View and Show All and it will take you to the centre of your plan. Now to import the 2D plans, select 2D and Layout. Now select Insert Bitmap, select Rectangle and navigate to where you can see your floor plan in the Explorer and click OK. Left click anywhere on the floor plan and left click once again to end. It doesn't matter where you put the floor plan or what scale you're drawing at this point because we're going to tell visual building the dimensions of one horizontal and one vertical wall in order for it to scale it correctly. Press escape twice on the keyboard to exit the insert bitmap tool. In visual building, by pressing escape twice, you always will exit out of the tool or selection. I'm going to left click on the floor plan so it's highlighted red round the edge and select center back. This will mean any guidelines or dimensions that I'm drawing over the floor plans will appear on top. If you can't see your guidelines or your dimensions, this means that the floor plan is sat on top of them, so you will need to select the floor plan and click centre back. I'm going to press escape twice to exit the selection of my floor plan. I want to now put some guidelines down to measure the 9.64 meter wall on the right hand side of the floor plan. I'm going to select the start of the wall and then the end of the wall. I'm going to left click on the plan to select it once again. I'm going to now right click on the plan to adjust the scaling. You will notice a little blue cross on your cursor. At this point, ensure your grid is switched off and that your snap is turned on. I'm going to be snapping to the guidelines that we've just set. Now I've drawn my line, I'm going to tell Visual Building that wall is 9.64 metres long. And that's just scaled it down for me. I'm now going to do the same with the horizontal line. Again, once again, I'm going to make sure that the plan is sat on the back and press Escape twice. I'm going to go to the 2D and layout tab and select the guideline once again and place the vertical guidelines. I'm going to press escape twice to exit out the guideline tool and then left click once again on the floor plan. I'm going to right click and click on adjust scaling. Again, I have that blue cross on my cursor. I'm going to snap to the guideline I've just set and then left click once again to end it. I'm going to press escape twice on the keyboard once again to exit out of the uh, floor plan. And now I'm going to use my uh, dimensioning tool just to show that the dimensions are correct now. I'm going to select on 2D and Layout. And from there, select the single dimensions. I'm left clicking again and then left clicking to end. And now you can see my floor plan is now correctly scaled 
and ready to work in visual building.